In this video, I'm going to be showing you a new feature we've just added, which is activity privacy, basically giving you the ability to control the privacy of each one of your activity posts. And we've also extended these privacy options into media and into our new documents component. You don't have to do anything special to enable this. These features are just built into the system when you update to the latest release. So let's go ahead and create a new activity post. I'm going to upload some photos. And then from here, I can set the privacy. If I'm posting in my profile, I can pick the privacy. If I'm posting into a group, then I would type and find the group and it will inherit the privacy of that group. So let's go in my profile and for now I'll make it public. All right, here's our nice photo pop-up. And right now this is set to public but let's say I want to change that to all members. Now, if I go log out, you'll notice that the most recent post is actually the one after that because this post is only set to members and this logged out user is not a member. And I could also go ahead and set to my connections or only me. So if I set it to my connections, then other logged in members won't see this unless they are connected to me if I said it's only me, then nobody's going to see it except for me. And when I open up the photo, we see a privacy toggle here that says edit post privacy. That's because this photo is part of an activity post. And so all the photos from this activity post inherit their privacy from the post. So I click edit post privacy. And it takes me back to the permalink to the post where I can change the privacy. And that will change it for all these photos. That's the same logic you'll see on Facebook and other networks that have photos and attachments into activity posts. And we have the same logic working in our documents. So for example, here's a CSS file and I have the same thing at post privacy. Unless they're added into a group. If they're added in a group, then they will always inherit the privacy of the group itself. And we can go into our documents directory and you'll see the same thing in our new document system. I could go ahead and edit the privacy and I can say I want this one to just be for my connections. So if we check this out in an incognito window, we'll see that that file didn't show up because it's only available to my connections. 